Hello, my name is Jacob Aguntamahin. I'm an incoming F1 and I'm going to be doing an academic foundation program in leadership and management. And what I want to talk to you today about is trust in the process. I believe that through going through medical school, it is so important to understand the importance of process, the importance of going through a journey, because often the journey is itself is just as important as the outcome. And what I found is trusting my unique process and trusting that my process is very distinct from that of others, in that I had to take a master's after my fourth year. And during this time when most of my colleagues were graduating and joining the workforce, I was faced with having to complete my master's year. But now looking back and completing a master's and now completing medical school, I've seen the importance of trust in process. I've seen the importance of going through your own journey. I've seen the importance of understanding that your journey is always going to be distinct from anyone else's. So whether you're a doctor, whether you're a medical student, whether you're a healthcare professional, in any regard, my encouragement is literally to trust your process, cherish your process, enjoy it, and know that yours is very distinct and yours is different from those who are around you. So in doing the masters, I was able to appreciate that sometimes it is important to take time out um, it's important to often find yourself on the bench because on the bench is where you have the most broadest perspective of the game itself. And from taking the time out and completing my masters, I was able to return back to medicine with a much more refreshed perspective of what it means to practice in medicine, with a much more refreshed perspective of the challenges that face our health system and a much more refreshed perspective in terms of the impacts that I want to make. So I think in terms of my process and taking that time out, I was able to understand that taking time out often is so much more beneficial in the long run as it refreshes your focus and gives you a widened perspective. So the master's programme was a master's in health policy, planning and financing um, at the London School of Economics and that gave me the skills to critically analyse uh, policies and now in conjunction with the clinical practice that I'm now working I've been able to seek opportunities and acquire opportunities in leadership and management, both for the NHS and other government bodies. And in doing so, I've been able to have a much more hybrid career that I'm beginning to plan and tailor, such that I have clinical commitments on the ward and shop floor and non-clinical commitments where I begin to engage with projects that not only benefit the local health economy, but hopefully national in the long run. So the process of combining both the process of managing both my non-clinical commitments and clinical commitments has been very tasking in that you find yourself trying to be ambidextrous in terms of your ability to manage two different commitments. However, one thing I found is that the skills that I was able to attain in one area often was transferable into the other, in that when there was times where I felt like I wasn't giving my all to one area, I was able to realise with reflection and perspective that really the skills that I am honing in one area often is transferable and beneficial to the other areas of my life. So I see it more holistically in terms of that abil ability to really be balanced and to be ambidextrous in my ability to be both a clinician and also a leader. So my final words will be for anyone who is on a process where they feel like they're seated on the bench is to understand that no matter how long you feel like you're out of the game for, in that process, in that time, you are gaining perspective. You are gaining experiences. You are gaining an understanding that no one else is able to acquire, such that when you do get the call to get back into the game, whether that be clinically or non-clinically or any role that you are called to, you will have the best perspective and the most refreshed understanding to make the most impact possible.